Hello, and welcome to the Daily Orthodox Christian Scripture Reading for the 21st week after Pentecost, Tuesday. The first reading of the day is from St. Paul's letter to the Colossians, chapter 1, verses 1 through 3, and verses 7 through 11. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Timothy, our brother, to the saints and faithful brethren in Christ at Colossae, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, from the day you heard and understood the grace of God in truth, as you learned it from Epaphras, our beloved fellow servant. He is a faithful minister of Christ on our behalf, and has made known to us your love in the Spirit. And so, from the day we heard it, we have not ceased to pray for you, asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will and all spiritual wisdom and understanding, to lead a life worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to him bearing fruit in every good work, and increasing in the knowledge of God. May you be strengthened with all power, according to his glorious might, for all endurance and patience with joy. And today's Gospel reading is from Luke chapter 11, verses 1-10. through 10. At that time, Jesus was praying in a certain place, and when he ceased, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, Teach us to pray, as John told his disciples. And he said to them, When you pray, say, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, as in heaven, so in earth. Give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, for we ourselves forgive everyone who is indebted to us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And he said to them, Which of you who has a friend will go to him at midnight and say to him, Friend, lend me three loaves, for a friend of mine has arrived on a journey, and I have nothing to set before him. And he will answer from within, Do not bother me, the door is now shut, and my children are with me in bed. I cannot get up and give you anything. I tell you, Though he will not get up and give you anything because he is his friend, yet because of his importunity he will rise and give him whatever he needs. And I tell you, ask and it will be given you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks it will be opened. Thank you for listening. Let the brightness of the Lord our God be upon us and direct the works of our hands to do good. See you tomorrow.